Now, if you're like me, and you get a particular pleasure out of the smell of metal being melded together, whether it's with your soldering iron or a MIG or TIG welder, then you're in a group of people who will know the language of weldments and structural frames. Creo is a brilliant tool for designing all aspects of sheet metal design. It always feels to me like it's designed by people who really understand the requirements of someone who spends their days cutting, bending, drilling and welding. However, available for all Creo users on a current subscription is a terrific set of features which are fully aligned to any designers or engineers who predominantly require the workflow and tools to quickly, easily and accurately create structural frameworks. Within the Framework tab are a collection of industry-based profiles, connection elements and related equipment which give you the power to control and fully document your frames. So whether you're involved in industrial machinery, structures for marine applications, conveyor systems, assembly lines, walking platforms, packing and packaging machinery, windows and doors or ladders and cages, this tool is going to be perfect for you. Creo has a strategic partnership with a German company called BMW, who for many years now have produced the logic behind the framework extension, also known as AFX. It fully utilizes Creo's parametric power and eliminates the traditional and extremely time consuming translation between your traditional CAD package and an external extension module. It's fully streamlined within your Creo installation and allows you to quickly and accurately define all aspects of your structural weldment. So any changes made at assembly level cascade down to your cut list without any further work being required. And all modifications are made to your beams and connections parametrically. AFX includes a huge library of beams with industry standard profiles, as well as brackets, screws, casters and plates and also gives you the opportunity to add your own company specific requirements to the inbuilt library. It integrates fully with Creo and Creo Simulate and related extensions so you can analyse your structural integrity prior to release and on top of this because it is integrated into your Creo package the bill of materials is automatically created including your stock tables and cut lists. This in turn gives you the control and the ability to automatically create all of your engineering drawings simply and efficiently. So the entire process of your product's journey from inception to release can be fully controlled within one CAD package. Design drawings, analysis and all of the fabrication and the specific instructions are controlled centrally and parametrically. So how do we do this? Well, step one is to set up your design intent. Use points, datum curves or sketches. Think of it as setting up a frame plan, the structure on which the beams and components are going to be placed. Then start a new assembly and bring in the sketch. Here I have a basic table plan with legs and a pattern of struts across the top. I've also added some pull handles at the near side. This is the frame for the framework essentially. And now let's have a look at the framework tab itself. We'll spend a few moments exploring here, left to right. Each framework is essentially a project. Use your company naming conventions to keep your structures organized. And you can also set specific project parameters if required, including auto numbers. You can also bring in parameters from your standard Creo models and assemblies. We then begin to apply beam profiles. And as you can see here, on the left hand side we have a wealth of potential options, starting with standard steel beams and sheet metal beams in both metric and imperial. There are also a huge selection of company specific specialist extruded profiles for use in constructing smart factories, workstations, robotics production lines etc. The steel beams themselves have all the expected requirements from rectangular tubes to C beams and I beams. And once the profile is selected, you then have the choice of a further selection of international standards from DIN, British Steel, Indian and Chinese regular tubes. And then you can simply specify the size and thickness required. And then it's simply a matter of applying the beam to a curve, spline or between two points. 
and then orientating it, and moving it and rotating it as required in relation to the original sketched curve. We also have the ability here to just repeat or pattern beams, saving time and staying accurate. Further, we can then add connector elements and equipment, end plates, brackets, casters, handles, even glass or wooden panels. And there's plenty of predefined placeable structures, for example, stairs, rails and ladders, perhaps assemblies you will bring in from external suppliers. The workflow is just so straightforward, logical and easy to manage that you can get your weldment and assembly structures put together quickly and accurately. And because it's Creo, the user interface is familiar and aligned to your general modeling work. Creating detailed drawings of your structures is incredibly easy. Indeed, Framework can output drawings automatically for all of your parts and produce your cut lists and stock length tables. Dimensioning is also managed within the drawing specific framework tab, giving full control over placement of values, dimensional tolerancing and other related annotation. And the options button has a multitude of configurable aspects of your drawings, controlling colours, trading zeros, naming formats and even bulk items, for example paint. Creo's advanced framework extension is the perfect tool for managing your designs and has a secure and proven track record in creating industry standard weldment and structural assembly documentation. Plenty of our customers are already using Framework every day to speed up their workflow and eliminate costly and outdated in-house templates and start parts. If it looks like the perfect tool for you, or if you need some more information or even training on using it, get in touch with us here at Concurrent Engineering.